Welcome back to Thomas Turner Fishing Antiques. Uh, something not antique today, but something collectible. Two or three weeks ago, we attended the British Fly Fair in the Stafford County Showground, which was great. We had a full stall there for valuations, but next door, somebody, thank the Lord, put a bring and buy tent inside the room. Um, that's great. I can't resist a bring and buy. And what happens is, over the two day period, members of the public were coming in putting items in for sale anywhere from a pound to about 500 pounds. During the first day, um, there's a bundle of rods in the corner and I spotted a red velvet bag. So I went over thinking that it was a Bruce and Walker, but it wasn't. It was something not quite as valuable, but something far more rare. The bag is printed here, the Shakespeare Worcestershire Ballantine rod. The rod, which is here, is a carbon fibre nine foot rod, two piece long, with a casting weight of 70 grams. Now the rod actually says on it, the Shakespeare Worcestershire grills, but the bag says the Shakespeare Worcestershire Ballantine. They have the same code number, so it's some sort of advertising faux pas, I think, on, on their behalf. Um, and I believe what's happened, although I can't be 100% sure, the Ballantine name reflects back to Georgina Ballantyne, who in October 7th, 1922, um, one evening whilst fishing on the Tay with her father, just as it's getting dark, hooked into a big salmon, which after a two hour battle turned out to be 64 pounds, which was then the rod caught uh, salmon record for Britain, an amazing fish. So I think perhaps Shakespeare have latched onto the name and applied it to the rod so that you can go back in history thinking you're going to catch a big salmon with this. Now this is a powerful rod. It weighs virtually nothing. And if I show you the section, if we take a pen and put it alongside the butt section, the diameter is almost identical. It's an amazing piece of engineering, this. Um, very slim, 70 gram casting weight, so it's going to cast a big lure or a big bait. And it's that powerful, I reckon, it'll hook and land a smeg fridge with the door open in the bottom of a deep pool. This is an amazing rod. It only weighs a few ounces. It's beautifully built. It's got gold-plated guides on it um, and uh, an overshoot ferrule. The tip on it is relatively fast, so it'll have an accurate casting tip, but it does pull through to get the power. It's got a cork handle and a screw winch fitting on it, which you need because as the power of the rod increases and it may actually bend slightly under the handle, the sliding rings come off. So it's a it's a great piece. It's quite a rare rod. Value-wise, it's still sub £100. Sustainability-wise, why would you go and buy a rod from the Far East? Something that um, has to make another imprint or dent in our carbon. When this rod was made 40 years ago, the imprint's already there. You're not increasing. The quality is high. The price is low. So it offers great value for money. Um, this will go on the website soon. And whilst I'm on about the website, please make sure that you log on to our uh, newsletter. It's every two to three weeks, depending on what comes in. You should find a mishmash of uh, interesting articles, little blogs, and also customer stories, as well as the new pieces that come into stock on a daily basis. So we're constantly buying and selling. Give us a ring if you've anything to sell, either Dave or myself, and we'll happily chat to you. But have a look online for this. This is a rare rod and a great value piece.